of YouTube. This is All Things Quick. So today we're going to be taking apart this 3 liter engine from the BMW. This is an M54 B30 and this is the engine that we're going to be building. So I'm taking it apart bolt by bolt. Every single thing on this engine block and this engine head is coming off. It came from a 2005 BMW 330XI but the engine is going in this car behind me which is a 2002 BMW 325XI. I'm going to start this process by taking the intake manifold off and what's going to save my butt through this whole process is plastic bags. It's a good thing to bag and label on your stuff. I don't care what they be saying. I'm a do it now and I've been really safe and I ain't giving up and I ain't giving in. Do it now for the dividends. I'll be on the path. I just got to get it because I got my mind. So that there that I just broke is a CCV piece and we're going to be having a CCV delete on this. So that thing is garbage to me. This whole CCV system is no good. Don't get to me anyways. Like it's functional, but it's just no good to me. <laughs> There's some things that I might see And when I do, I could never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it, man, I need to be The thing that I just painted out, man, you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it, I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all Come in there, I'ma play it now, I'ma kill him dark, I'ma play the ball Cause I gotta go and get it, man, I really just need it Tell these guys that they can beat it I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man, take it, never receive it I'ma make it mine, I'm explosive like a mine I've been working every time, yeah, I do it on the grind I'ma shine, I'ma shine, yeah, every single day I'ma kill this competition cause I'm going so insane Hey, hey, I'm really going so insane, yeah, I guess really ran through the pain But I'm just back on my path and I I fixed it now, it's really all okay So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him, this is mine, yeah, yeah Okay, so here's my progress so far I decided I was gonna do a time lapse instead Because actually doing this job itself takes a lot of time Like some of those bolts were like seized on there real good And had to fan angle with them a bit So it took a little longer than I expected to do that So I mean, I just didn't want to record that long for editing reasons But anyways, I got the AC pump off, water pump off, thermostat off, I got the crank sensor, intake manifold, oil filter housing, the left engine mount, I got the coolant lines off of the engine head and the block there, the knock sensors, I don't know what else I'm missing, the power steering pump was already off of that, so now, for the most part, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get that other engine mount off there, get the oil pan off, the valve cover, and then start working at the timing chain like timing chain cover and get that crank pulley off camshafts phasers and get the head off and then from there we can flip it upside down get the oil pan off and then start tearing apart the bearings on the bottom and get the transfer case out of there so that's kind of the process what I'm doing right now normally I would leave this type of stuff on but because this is getting magna fluxed anyways my camera just flipped around I don't know what the heck happened there but so what I'm saying is that this engine block and this engine head is getting magna fluxed so meaning that they're gonna check for like micro cracks and check for if there's any kind of like splitting going on when there is temperature applied to this because I'm doing that they're gonna check that over in the machine shop when they do the head studs might get it resurfaced or whatever it needs I'm not sure yet but anyways this engine is definitely coming along I'm gonna get it disassembled tonight for sure I'm going to clean this thing up as well I'm gonna see if I I can get this thing like sandblasted or something but it's really dirty I want to be able to put a clean engine back in that engine bay so I'm gonna flip this around a few times get this thing dealt with and take it all apart and this is what I've had to organize everything labeling everything just so then when it comes apart then all of this stuff will be super easy to just throw back together quick and I'm taking a quick intermission I'm gonna heat up some of my steaks that I cooked last night this little barbecue definitely comes in handy I'm loving this thing but I'm gonna start this fire here and have some steak Buddy, I'm telling you, if this isn't living big, I'm not sure what is. This is real good. These steaks are awesome. I heat those up. I'm gonna have myself a feast, boy. Hey. 
Me on, I'm gonna have a feast, boy. Okay, yes, sir. Here we go. Look at this. Some nice steak, boy. Sheesh. Looks really nice. Anyways, gonna eat that and get back to work. So real quick, just before I start tearing down the head on this, I'm just gonna start disassembling this timing chain and this exhaust and the intake cam and all of the bearings that are on there as well. Once I get this head off, then we can see the condition of the pistons, flip it over, take the axle, the transfer case, and the oil pan off. I'm gonna take that crank pulley off there. Normally, if you're tearing this down, like to do timing or something, like normally you would, you know, put it top dead center or whatever, but because this is all coming apart, like everything I don't have to worry about all that if you're doing timing you'd set it to top dead center first and then you would start tearing down the timing chain and take the cam phasers off and whatever else that you would do to do timing but in this case we don't need to do that we just are disassembling everything here so we can get down to the block so even in here I'm gonna do new valve seals and potentially new springs maybe even new valves I'm not sure about all that yet I gotta take this apart and check the condition of them and based on that I might end up doing them. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep moving on with this and hopefully I can get this all done tonight. It's about almost seven o'clock. I have till about 11, so hopefully I can get this all done. And before you say it, I know like seven to 11 is four hours, but like some of these bolts are really stuck on here and some of this stuff is not cooperating properly and having to mess with it a bit. That's the reason I'm saying that. And plus filming at the same time is difficult and that's what makes this whole process like five times longer is actually trying to film for you guys. So if you have any questions about this though tearing it down and I'm not covering it per se by actually speaking about it let me know in the comments and I can help you with this disassembly process <laughs> So this is just worth noting. These here are regular threads, so lefty loosey. but once you open this up inside, then they are reverse threads to take the bolt out inside of there. So that's just something worth noting, and make sure you drain your oil in your flipping thing before you open that up. Yeah, that just happened. That's okay. off and the phasers with them as well now I've exposed the head studs or the head bolts rather you could have got it off with everything together but all of this stuff is like I'm sending this head away to get fluxed and so everything's got to come apart so these valves here they make a tool for these to take them out but when I do take them out I, I obviously don't have the tool so so they're tiny little pieces that's why you don't want to lose them but what I'm gonna do is take the head bolts out and then and take the head off so I can get to the head gasket and throw that in the trash yeah then from there I can take the valves out don't know if I'll do that right away but either way this head's gonna come out And then I'm gonna leave that for tonight because I've run out of time and I can't get that crank bolt off I'm gonna strip this down a little bit more just to take some weight off of it And then I'm gonna take it over to buddy's shop and I'm going to get a bigger gun to get that crank bolt off And that's unfortunate That's the only reason that this thing is not completely torn apart now because I was messing around with that for like 40 minutes trying to do that But otherwise it would have been all taken apart But I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'm gonna pack up and go home and you guys are just gonna see it super quick.
Okay, so there you have it. This is it for tonight. What I'm having problems with is, like I said before, that crank pulley bolt. Can't get that off, and until I can get that off, I can't get the timing cover off, and then I can't get the chain off, and if I can't get the chain off, then I can't get the crank cover off with the oil pump on it, and the oil pump actually spins by the crank too. So you can see here, like that's attached, that has tension on it, so I can't get that on. Yeah, I got this off, this is upside down right now. Everything's moving very freely, which I like, so that's good news. Looks like it was starting to have a blown head gasket on it. To be expected at 300,000 kilometers, I'll be getting that bolt off soon. Not today, today I'm done. But then basically all it is, is taking the timing cover off, the chain to the oil pump, a crank pulley, then start taking off the bearings to the crankshaft, and then then start pulling off the connecting rods and then I can pop the pistons out then it's done then I can take that block clean it up and send it out to a machine shop once I get the parts so I have to wait until I order the parts first at least the head studs because they'll need those to machine this so anyways for you guys this is going to be a very quick transition and it will be just like that it's a new day and I'm back here with this M54 B30 that I'm taking apart here. I have a three quarter gun that I had to get from a friend of mine to get this crank bolt off. I just tried it and it seems promising. Just like that. And that is the crank bolt loose. It just needs that extra bit of kick to get that out. I couldn't get it with my small gun. So that's out. I had blasted it forward to kind of crack it loose and now it's off. When I went to just do it now, it had cracked it loose forward and then I just got it off in reverse and that was super easy. It just goes to show that bigger the tool, the better, I guess, because my little one just didn't cut it. I'm gonna get this off, this crank pulley, and then I'm gonna get this timing chain cover off. Once I get the cover off, I can pull that chain off and then I can pull the oil pump off. And then from there, it's just taking off the bearings to the pistons. I can pull the crankshaft out and and I can pop these pistons back there. So I'm just gonna do that and move back to the time lapse. So I'm gonna show you guys the bigger is better. stuff is gone now so it's just the block I took the oil jets out as well so now this block is finished what I got to do is take the valves out of this head take all those apart so there's just that to do and then this engine is completely disassembled I didn't film this but this I just cut the nut off of this oil pump because this oil pump here the nut on it had spun when I tried to take it off and it stripped the threads on the nut but it wouldn't come off so these threads are still good so I'm gonna reuse this pump which is fortunate but I had to cut it off and it was a delicate process so I didn't cut into the threads on the actual pump itself. I'm gonna set that aside, put that away. Got all my parts up here on the shelf and they're all bagged and organized so when I go to do the reinstallation of all this stuff it's gonna be super quick. So right now I'm just gonna pull this head down and then I'm gonna take these valves out and then this engine is completely disassembled. Okay so I got the head down here right now and I'm just gonna take out these valve springs and take the valves out. They have a two-piece mechanism inside of there where they will seat into place. There's a clamping tool that you can use to take them out, but I don't have that tool yet. I'll get one for when I reinstall the new valves, but I've decided I'm going to do one millimeter oversized valves 
parts for this so then I can make more horsepower with this engine since I'm doing this as a big build so I'm going to need to send this to the machine shop and have a valve job done on it to make bigger seats for the bigger valves and I'm using stainless steel valves as well so then they're stronger I'm gonna take these valves out right now and then basically everything's done and it's just machine shop work I ordered my pistons yesterday and I ordered the head studs as well I'm using m12 head studs to hold this thing down so it doesn't pop off and I have forged pistons coming they're 84 millimeters so they're stock size but basically they are forged and dished as well so their compression ratio are 8.4 to 1 instead of what this is I think it's 10.1 to 1 ratio so it's a significant change for sure dropping the compression ratio so then I'm able to push more food but I'm gonna get these out right now there I just took out all those valve springs and the valve keepers uh, these here like I was saying they're like I was saying, there are two piece mechanisms here. They seat inside the valve on the top of the valve stem there. They're tapered and they sit right in there. They clamp together and then they compress in the top of the spring. You saw that I was just using a socket to get these out with a hammer. Honestly, I don't suggest that. If you have a clamp, use it. Or if you have a magnetic socket, then use that. These things fly all over the place. I lost three of them, but then I ended up finding them on the ground. There should be 48 of them here. I counted them twice. I got that. I'm gonna bag them up and keep them aside. So right now I just gotta take out the valve seals and then pull the valves out and then everything's done. the valve seals you have to pull them off with like pliers or something so they break on their way out but that's okay because we're getting new ones and that's why we took these off basically they just slip right off of there but I didn't record the whole thing because it's actually pretty tedious because these like you don't want to scratch anything or wreck anything on the way out other than these so took my time with that but those are done so that's all garbage and now everything is done and ready to be actually I'm gonna take that stud out of here but other than that everything is prepped and ready to be sent off to the machine shop so this is good news but whatever anyways this is basically almost done I'm just gonna take a few things out yeah so I'm gonna send this off to the machine shop but I have to wait for my parts to come in I gotta wait for the pistons I gotta wait for the valves and I have to wait for the head studs but the pistons are ordered and the head studs are ordered I still have to order the valves but that's gonna be in a couple weeks this is all done valves are out pistons are out crankshaft camshafts everything's out so now i'm pretty much ready to go but with that being said i'm going to end the video right here if you enjoyed that video definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is going to be a monstrous build that we're doing it's going to be absolutely epic we're shooting for 750 wheel horsepower that's a big power goal that we're trying to get to it's completely possible and doable and we're going to make that power goal come to fruition so hit that subscribe button and follow along i'll link a playlist at the end of the video here for the everything leading up to this point hit that like button let me know that you did enjoy this video if you have any questions about this disassembly process I know that I time lapse a lot of stuff but if you have questions hit me up in the comments let me know because I can help you and answer questions that you may have and don't forget to join our discord server and our whatsapp server that's the best place to ask full-length detailed questions if it's too much to comment it in the comments below so hit us up there's a community of like-minded people doing the same type of stuff people there to help out and answer or questions so if you like that video hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one see you later